What's up guys? Alright, so I want to make an updated video. Um, this is May 7th, 2011. I made my first video about this. Oof, I don't even know when. Um, this is about how to auto install a dev file into Cydia or your iPhone. Uh, basically, this uses Cydia's auto install feature, uh, which is built into Cydia, but you norm normally people don't access it. One thing you need is, first of all, your dev file. So I have one right here in my downloads. And that's all it is, this is folder enhancer. Um, once you have that, you need either AFC to add. This is default installed with Red Snow, I believe. Uh, so if you have that, you don't need to download anything. Uh, by check how you can check that, go into your Cydia, go to your manage tab, click packages, and then where it says simple to talk, click that, and it should say AFC to add. And uh, if you have that, you're fine. That's the first way. The second way is to use an SSH pro program. Now, if you don't know what SSH is, it's basically wirelessly uh, going into the root folder of your iPhone, the index files. Um, as you can see right here on my screen, I already have it up. I use Cyberduck. Um, I also do have iPhone Explorer, as you can see right there. Um, but I iPhone Explorer crashes a lot. Um, so either way, first of all, I'm going to be showing the SSH way to do it. The iPhone browser, iPhone Explorer, anything like that, anything where you have to plug your phone directly into the computer. Um, that's also the same exact way, it's just you have to have your phone connected to the computer. This way, you can just do it over a wireless network. Now, if you don't have a Wi-Fi network, you're going to have to do it with iPhone Explorer, iPhone browser, anything like that program. Um, okay, so first to get started, like I said, you need an SSH program or iPhone Explorer, um, you know, a standard program that you can browse your, your files with. Um, you also need the dev file and your iPhone. Uh, once you have your iPhone, you're just going to go ahead and log into the root. So, right here. I'm going to show you how to open connection real quick. So, you're going to find, you're going to put in your server. So, say mine was, so say that was my server. I would just do that. You're gonna, your username is always root. And if you haven't changed your password to your SSH program, which if you've never accessed before, you probably haven't, it's A L P I N E, Alpine. You just push connect, and that's it. This should come up. I'm already connected to mine. So now we're going to go to bar root media. There should be nothing in this folder. If you have something in this folder, you might not be in the right folder. Now we're going to create a new folder. So new folder. We're going to name it Cydia. Make sure the C is capitalized and all the other letters are lowercase. If you do it wrong, spell it wrong, it will not work. Click create. So you're gonna see now that we have a folder called Cydia. Double click to go into that folder. As you can see, var root media Cydia. Create another folder and call this one auto install. Make sure the A and the I are capitalized and there's no spaces. Click create. Once you create that, double click now we're all the way in var root media Cydia auto install. All we have to do is grab our dev file, drag it right over. It's going to say it's copying. Once complete, you can see now that it is in here. On your iPhone, you're going to go ahead and reboot or power off either one. Once you have rebooted your phone, this should not be here after. And actually mine won't go right now because it is restarting and installing the program. Just let it go ahead and boot up here. Like 
once it has rebooted, like I said, it should have the program installed. If it did not install a program, try restarting your phone and rebooting your phone again. Sometimes it doesn't always do it on the first try. All right, my phone just turned on right now. I am using an iPhone 4, by the way, so uh, it might be a little faster on an iPhone 4. Now to check if you have installed, go into Cydia, whatever program you had installed, you have to go to your manage tabs again, and then to your packages, and just look for the app you were trying to install. Now I can see right here, mine folder enhancer, which I was trying to install, installed. Go ahead and refresh this page. And as you can see, the dev is gone, because I re just refreshed it. Okay, so now all you have to do, sit back and enjoy whichever file or program you installed. All right guys, so that's a very simple tutorial on how to auto install a dev file. You do not need mobile terminal, you don't need iFile, any other program. All you need is a computer with either Wi-Fi or USB and either program Cyberduck, iPhone Explorer, iPhone Browser, or etc. And this is on a Mac. Alright guys, so comment, rate, subscribe, let me know how this is going. Thanks.